Fa la 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 la. What the fuck were they thinking? This is awful. Good King Mugamog. Good King Mog. Yo, let's do this. This is fun. Now we have rules. All right, these are the rules here. One, Prague. All right. Two, the mech. Three, fun. Four, farm. Everybody's cool with these rules. Same as last time. Okay, we're coming in hot. We're starting off strong. Okay, there's nothing else we need to say. There's nothing else we need to say. This is arguably the best extreme primal ever made. This is arguably one of the best fights ever made, in my opinion. Titan Extreme. For those of you that don't know about Titan Extreme, okay? I'm going to tell you about Titan Extreme. Titan Extreme was a plague in the Duty Finder, okay? It, it, it is iconic, okay? Titan Extreme shit on so many kids like six years ago, and it came back, and it's still shit on kids. Not only is it fun, but it teaches you everything you need to know about the game. It teaches you tank swaps. It teaches you how to handle ads. It teaches you a heal check. It teaches you a DPS check. It teaches you how to dodge. It, te dude, it teaches you It teaches you everything you know. If you can do Titan Extreme, that's the, that's the basic of everything in the game, all in one fight. Plus, he is thick as fuck, dude. He is thick as fuck. Hold on, we need another tier. Add row below. Okay, now what should we call this tier? Three question marks is more more toxic than like what the fuck, right? So we started off strong. Okay, so the prog, super awesome. The mech, super awesome. The fun, out of this fucking world. The farm, whew, whew. You know what? The farm doesn't matter. You know why? You know why the farm doesn't matter? Because the fight was so fun, you didn't care if you wiped, okay? So that's why it doesn't matter. Let's move on to, to a shittier one, but not absolute shit, but kind of shit. Leviathan, what the fuck were they thinking? This is awful. Prague, resident sleeper. Mechs, what mechs? Fun, fun, no. Farm, nobody did the fucking thing. What the fuck were they thinking? Okay, here's one. Zervon. Where is it going? Zervon. Let's talk about it. Prague. <sighs> Easy? Not too bad. Not too hard either. The mechs. How interesting were they? The first phase was kind of cool. Soar. Soar was a hell of a mechanic, man. Woo! But you could skip it. Was it fun? I had fun in Zervon. Did you guys like Zervon? Not really. Eh. PF ruined it for me. Last phase, yes, meh. Nopers. Okay, so fun is like a 4 out of 10. You can see yourself just logging off for the night. The farm. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't think like I don't think it's as bad as a D. Okay, how about this? How about this? Regardless of what you thought at the fight, you thought the Skip Sore memes were funny. So I so I think because of Skip Sore or Disband, I feel like that 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 is enough to keep it a C. Let's say without Skip Soar, I could see it being a D without Skip Soar. But with Skip Soar, I think it's a C, man. I feel like that was pretty funny. Did you guys ever see the Skip Soar video? We're gonna watch it. Are you fucking ready? ACT, FF Logs, God Cop, waiting for balance. Zervon X, Party Finder, bitch. Can't Skip Soar? Get the fuck out. Fucking skip sword, bitch. Oh my god, we saw sore. How will we ever continue to live? 
Party disband, QQ, delete your character, delete your account. What are you doing with your life? Not mechanics, that's for fucking sure. Coordination, OMG. I can't believe this is happening. Is this real life right now? Xeno strap, bitches. Bring eight fucking tanks to make sure we live through this god awful, unskippable mechanic. Average DPS to skip sword, just wing it, everyone. What will we ever do? OMG. Hashtag man mode, you fucking pussies. <laughs> Get fucking good nerds, can you be? So that's the video! And uh, when that video came out, there was a bunch of controversy. The hardcore players thought I was shitting on the the casuals and the casuals thought I was shitting on the hardcore players. So they were both fighting each other. And uh, in reality, I just made the video because I'm fucking stupid. There was no point to that video. I just wanted to make a dumb video. So I feel like it's a C. Okay, Rama. The prog. It was challenging. You had orb management. Rama actually hit fucking hard. The prog was challenging, I felt. For an extreme. Okay, the mechs. The orb mechanic was the first of its kind. So it was, you know, it was first introduced. Actually, the mech, the, the, the orb mechanic in Rama Extreme is better than in Savage version. Uh, his tank buster was a, was a cleave. It was an AoE around the tank and it hit really hard. But Titan Edgy, you could tank with Titan Edgy and it wouldn't deal any damage to Titan Edgy because he has that, because at the time, pets didn't take any damage. Yeah, that didn't last very long. That lasted like 12 hours. There was a DPS check. It was kind of cool. You couldn't stand in the water when he cast the lightning shit or else you'd die. So that was kind of cool. I thought the mechs were good, man. Fun? It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun, man. Um, also, like the fear stuff. You'd see people like kill e you'd see people kill each other with the um with the fear. You'd see people kill each other by the chain lightning thing. Farm? The farm was a little scuffed. I think Rama's an A, man. B for beard? What about A for awesome beard? Amazing beard. I think it's an A. I think it's an A, man. Ooh. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What about... What about Bismarck? Now, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, I know you guys are saying to yourself, what the fuck? A bunch of question marks, okay? Okay. But, but, think about it this way. What would you rather do? Leviathan or Bismarck? You guys would really rather do Leviathan? Really? But Bismarck isn't broken like Leviathan is. Biz Le Leviathan is broken. Well, let's look at this. The prog. Pretty easy, I would say. Not bad. The mechs. Okay, it was kind of cool with the weather. The weather was kind of cool. The fun. Ooh. Ooh. Sheesh! Was that appropriate? Did I miss you, Sheesh, again? Fuck. When do you use it? Dude, I don't know when you use it. Fuck, I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. I don't know when you use it. The fun. There was one thing that, that, that was fun when you see, when you saw people, fuck man, that's the same thing that was fun in Leviathan when you see people get blown off the platform. God damn it. Farm. Pfft, no, 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 no. You know what? You know what? This is just as bad as Leviathan. Actually, if we're going off this, this is actually worse than Leviathan because at least Leviathan, you farmed it. Bismarck, you didn't even farm. Because when this first came out, it gave you a, such a shitty weapon. You didn't even farm it. You did it once just to unlock Ravana. You guys think that it's worse than Levy? Okay, well, there's no way that Levy is... There's no way... Do we need to add another tier? What about this? All right, we'll just start... Okay, we'll just go to another banger. Boom. Easy S. The prog? Holy shit. The mechs? Holy shit. The fun, holy shit. The farm, even if you didn't kill it, it was fun. I think everyone agrees. Sophia. What about Sophia? The prog was good. Now the mechs were cool. The tilt mechanic, it was it was cool and it was also funny when people fell off. The whole like the copy thing where she would do something and then send it to the clones or whatever. That was kind of cool. The confuse was cool. Because, you know, one person would get confused, and if you popped all your buffs, you could actually kill the target that you were on. Also, you could troll the confused person. So, like, how Sophia worked was it was on this platform, and you could stand right here on the platform, okay? And then the confused person would be, like, right here, okay? Here, here's a confused person. Here, they got wavy arms because they... 
because they don't know what they're doing you know they got wavy arms they're attacking you now what you do now the reason why you stand here is because when when the tilt happened and it went down like this and this part went up you would slide this way and the confused person would fall off, but you would be right here. And that was funny. So I think the mech was cool. Fun. I thought it was very fun. Uh, it was very fun in the duty finder. It was so, it was fun to the point to where, you know, you could literally have people fall off like 20 times and you could still kill it. Like, I don't think difficulty is the, the saving grace or however you want to word it of if a fight is good or not. I think that easy fights can be better than difficult fights. So I think that it's an A. Farm was good, it was fun, the mechs were good. The mechs were like, they were better than average, but a little bit below good. The prog was fun. I think it's an A. I mostly think it was an A because of the fun and because of the farm. I think Rama was was more difficult, but less fun. Sophia was easier, but more fun. Ugh, okay. Good King Mugamog, good King Mog. I think this is a trash tier fight. I think at the most, this could be a D. At the absolute most. That's at the absolute most. I think this fight sucks ass. I think this fight is garbage. I think it's a what the fuck. I don't think it's as bad as Bismarck. Ah, oh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is worse. Like when you wipe, it's, it's not even a fun wipe either. You can't fall off. You wipe because someone kills one of the Moogles too early. It's just fucking miserable, dude. Okay, I think it's like this. I think we bump this up and put that here. That's what I think. That's 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 what I that's what I think, man. Oh, I don't even have a mount either. I didn't mind Bismarck as much as other people. Now I didn't like it, but I didn't mind it as much as other people. But I fucking hated this fight. I hated this fight, dude. Good King Moogamon, Good King Mon. I hate that shit. Prog awful. Max awful. Fun awful. Farm awful. Okay, we're done. Moving on. All right, what about Shiva? <sighs> Prog, man. Mechs. The weapons were kind of cool. It had the bow. The bow, 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 bow. Was it better than Zervon? Yeah. It was better than Zervon. Was it fun? It was okay. Farm. Easy to farm. I think it's a B. I think it's better than Zervon, worse than Rama. All right. I'm going to, okay. I'm going to do another bias. I'm simping. Ravana. S. I think it's S. Now, is it as good as Titan and Thornton? No. I think Titan and Thornton are like S+. Plus. I think Ravana is barely an S, but I think it's an S. This is why I think it's an S. Okay, one, his voice. Ravana's voice is awesome. Just the whole aesthetic is awesome. It's like, you know, there's like, you know, the, 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 the butterflies, the colors, the arena itself. It's just really awesome. He looks cool, and I think his mechanics are cool, and the music is fucking awesome. The music is so badass, dude. I just think the whole aesthetic of it is just really, really cool. And also, he has his damage up phases. You deal extra damage, and everybody loves dealing extra damage. If people didn't like big dick numbers and dealing extra damage, then direct hit wouldn't exist. So it's proven that everybody loves dealing damage, okay? Like, the mechs are pretty cool with the with the prey markers, the dives, man, the, the fucking, you know, the explosions, the fucking... Dude, it's just very flashy fight. The farm was good. It was very fun. The mechs I thought were cool. The prog was good. Yeah, that's why I think it's an S. Oh, I gotta add this. Five. Music. I think it's an S. What about Susano? Susano an S? No. Okay, he cuts the room in half. Kind of cool. You gotta block the thing as a tank. Kind of cool. And well, actually, no, it's not cool because you have to tap the button. But if you're not the tank, then it's fine. <laughs> he had like the, <laughs> you know, the... The slippery dick jails. You had to bust them out. Yeah, players in a cup. Yeah, the players in a cup. I don't think that's ever been in another fight before. He had like the thunder on the outside that targeted a player. Yeah, I think it's like a B plus. I think it's like a B, a, a, like a B plus, a high B. I don't think it's an A. So I'm thinking about it, right? If you put it on A, that means it's the same as like Rama, Sophia, right? I feel like it's more of a B. I feel like if I had a choice between doing Rama or Sophia, I would always pick those two over Susano. Whereas if I had a choice between Shiva and Susano, I would pick Susano like 50% of the time, maybe even 60% of the time or 70% of the time. I think it is better than Shiva. I think it's a B. All right. Oh, God. Uh, this, this bitch. Uh, what's her fucking name, dude? Lakshmi. 
Yeah, I think it's a D. Prog was like, okay, just get a Vril. I don't think it's a high D. I don't think it's a low D. Just a D. All right, all right. Well, that was fast. All right, here we go. Sephiroth. Oh, man. The Prog, it was kind of hard. The mechs, they were pretty cool. His first phase was much different than his last phase. Add phase was fun. You got to pad. Okay, it's at least an A, but maybe it's an S. The music, it had that old controversy, right? With uh, Power Man 5000. So that was kind of funny. At first, Power Man 5000 was like, why are you copying our music? And then when they realized that no one had ever talked about Power Man 5000 for like 10 fucking years, they were like, oh shit, you know what? Uh, yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. We're, we're okay with it. You know what I mean? Farm was good. Uh, it was very fun. Mechs were good. The prog, prog was good. But what makes it an S? The fact that you can fall off and not be rezzed is pretty cool. Back when primals had balls, you know, back when primals were hard. He's very thick. At the time, let's see. There wasn't any color thing, right? I'm pretty sure that was the first of its kind, right? The different colors. Oh, oh, you know what was cool though? When all those orbs started to grow and you had to get skinny. That 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 part was cool. Yeah, I think it's an S, man. I do. I think it's like Ravana. I think it's barely an S. I really liked Sephiroth. I thought it was a good fight. All right, here we go. What about, what about Garuda? The music was good. The prog. Fuck, that was so long ago, dude. I had fun progging it. The mechs, were the mechs good? Fuck, man, what were the mechs? It was basically just like a tornado and you had to separate. Was it fun? Kind of fun. Farm, farm was good. Music good. Yeah, I think it's a C. Nah, it hasn't really aged well either. It's not bad, but it's not good. Like, I don't think, like, I don't think anybody hates this fight and I don't think anybody loves this fight. What about Biako? Oh. All right, man, look, it's going here, dude. Okay, it's going here. And you know why it's going here? Because during that phase where you're up in the air, you can literally right click follow and go take a shit and come back and you will still be alive. That should not exist in a fight. Like, I don't think it's bad as Moogle. It had a mount, the music was okay. Some of them, see the thing is, man, the thing is, is this fight had a lot of potential. If you take out that stupid, that stupid part, I actually think it's like a B. Or a high C, a low B. I think it's that. But because of that transition phase, I think it's a what the fuck. What the fuck were they thinking? I don't think it was interesting. No, I don't. I think it was lazy. I think I think that they literally just didn't. I think they just ran out of ideas. So they said, hey, let's just have them go up in the air for like two minutes to fucking feed the clock or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I wouldn't use the word interesting. I would use the word experimental. And it was definitely a failed experiment. It was way too long. Way too fucking long. The farm was horrible. It was not fun. The mechs, everything outside of the of the twirl wind shit, you know, was 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 good. It wasn't bad. Slightly better than average. The prog was eh, was okay. I don't really remember the prog too much, man. Yeah, I think it was what the fuck. Okay, here's one. What about Hades? Because I feel like Hades has some really strong points and it has some really low points. The prog was actually awesome. The prog kind of felt like a little mini ultimate, actually. Like, it wasn't the hardest. It was one of those fights where when you saw a new phase, you just died because everything blew up. But once you understood it, it was pretty easy. So I liked that. The mechs were, they were fun, man. They were cool. I liked the mechs. It was fun. Now, ooh. Ooh. But the fun, so much downtime, dude. So much downtime. Like, god damn, dude. What the fuck, dude? Ugh. The farm was also bad because of the downtime. So it's like, holy shit, man. I don't think it's a D. I don't think it's a C. Even with the downtime, I feel like it's at least a B. And let me explain, because I think that all of the other positives, they outweigh the downtime. Because the downtime is pretty much the only bad thing. And there's so much good shit. It even kind of had an epic feel. It's definitely not an S. It's not an S. The downtime f fucks it for the S. The, the, the question I feel like is that, is it a B or an A? Yeah, I think it's a very, very low A. Okay, what about Ifrit? I think it's a B. The reason why I think it's a B is because this fight actually did a lot of damage. He fucked up the tanks hard and his party damage was also hard. Here's the downside. I feel like you kill too many nails. There's way too many nails. Yeah, maybe it's a C. I'm thinking about it. The dashes were okay. The, 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 tank, the tank swap was hectic. 
Really, the mechanics kind of sucked. There weren't very many mechanics. It's pretty much just the nails. Unfortunately, like, I think Garuda's like a C. And I think, like, Ifrit might be a C plus or a B minus. I'm pretty sure no one wants to put it in an A. And I'm pretty sure most people don't want to put it as a D. So I think the, the decision is, is it a B or is it a C? You guys think it's a C? I think it's a C too. The music, eh. Farm, eh. Fun, it was fun. I think we're going with C. What about Siryu? You think Siryu is as good as Hades? And Sophia in Rama? The only reason why you guys liked Siryu is it was because it was in the expansion that, that, that every primal had a mini game. And it was the only one that didn't have a mini game. And you were like, thank fuck this doesn't have a mini game. That doesn't count. I think the farm was resident sleeper. I think the music was mediocre. I don't, I think the fun was medium. The mechs were okay. The prog was okay. Like it had one hard, it, well, it wasn't even hard. It had one mechanic that could kill you in the whole fight. And that was the one where you had to like split the party up. I actually think it's a D. I think it's a D plus, but I have to ask myself, is it as bad as Lakshmi? I don't think it's as bad as Lakshmi. So I think it's a C. It's like a C minus. It's like worse than all three of these. Here's why I think Lakshmi is really bad. It's because it tried new shit and it failed. Whereas Siri, you kind of didn't try anything new, but it wasn't great either. Like, I don't hate Siri, you. I just, I just thought it was boring. I think we got to put this in the what the fuck and we got to put this D. Because Lakshmi is a what the fuck. Ooh, put Garuda in D as well. Ooh. I think, I think C's average. I think it was average. Yeah, I don't know. Here we go. Warrior of Light, S. Warrior of Light, S. Has to be S. I don't think there's really much to say. Um, I think we all, I think we all pretty much agree that it's an S. I think that the mechanics are amazing. The fight itself is amazing. The fun was, was amazing. The prog was amazing. The music was good. Yeah, I think it's an S. What about this fucking piece of shit? What about Suzaku? I think that it goes into what the fuck. And the reason why I think it goes into what the fuck is because one, it has that dumbass mini game, and two, it has that dumbass opener. What fucking fight transitions at like 15 seconds into the fight? What the fuck? Like, are you kidding me right now? I think that the beginning of the fight and the mini game completely ruin the Simon thing around the fucking arena. I do think the mechanics, there's, there's never been anything like that before. I think it has some positives, but every time you start that fight, it's awful. Every time you do the mini game, it's awful. Like, I think it would be a D if it had a decent opener. Every time you start that fight and you fight that fucking bird, you're just like, I hate this opener. I think it's a what the fuck. I just can't get over the mini game. I can't get over the opener. So bad. See, the thing about the music, here's why the music doesn't hold as much weight to me, is because people don't have to listen to this, right? But everyone had to do the opener. Everyone had to do the mini game. So like the farm, it was fucking miserable. The fun, no. The mechanics, some of the mechanics were good. The prog, mediocre. I think it's a what the fuck. What about Shinryu? I think it's an A. I don't think it's an S because the ad phase was really bad. <laughs> the ad phase was really stupid and also the end of the fight where you're on that platform. I feel like once you figured it out, it was really, really, really fucking brain dead. And also the the enrage was really stupid. I felt like the enrage was really stupid. How you had to like kill his wing and then jump on his back. And it's just like, geez, he's lit like, like he's literally just standing there and he doesn't do anything. So there's like this fucking like 30 second enrage. No, the first phase, the first phase is why I think it's an A. But the second phase is why I, is also why I think it's an A. Running across the tail, it was fun the first time, but after the first time you did it, it was just like, ugh. Yeah, I think the second phase kind of killed it and the ad phase really killed it. Um, the first phase was super fun though. Yo, what about Rathalos? Garbage? D? B? A? What the fuck? How do we want to compare a, col a collaboration fight? I feel like you have to compare it to its counterpart, the Behemoth collaboration. And Behemoth was way better than Rathalos. I feel like Rathalos could have been amazing, but they tried to make it like fucking Monster Hunter for whatever reason. 
I don't think it's possible for this game to mimic Monster Hunter. It tries, but I think it just fails. I think it's a D. And you know what the saving grace is? There's a saving grace. I have a trump card for this. Here is my trump card. It has the coolest tank chess piece in this fucking game. I mean, the tank chess piece is fucking ridiculous. It's so good. So I think because of that, it's at least a D. Is this an armor tier list or a fight tier list? I, it's, it's just hard to categorize, man. This fight feels like a collaboration fight. It feels out of place in this game. So I don't think you can use these. I mean, you can try like the prog was like, okay, it was pretty easy. The mechs were different. Was it fun, questionable, farm, boring? Yeah, it's like, it's really hard to judge by these, by these, by this criteria or rules, right? Because this was made for like these fights. Yo, I got it. No, 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 no. I got it. I got it. I got it. Where the fuck is Odin? Odin should be on here. Let's pretend this is Odin. All right. Because I don't think you can really, dude, Rath, dude why the fuck is, yeah, Rathalos shouldn't be on here. Okay. So let's pretend this is Odin. I think Odin is a C. I actually think Odin is a B, but because there was no reason to ever fucking do it, I feel like it's a C. Yeah, Odin's not an X, but it's like, it's a fucking primal, dude. It's like, whatever, man, you know? If you're gonna say Rathalos X is an X, then I feel like that Odin is should be classified as an X, even though it technically doesn't say like X. Oh, Cape Westwind, dude. Odin did a lot of damage. When it was relevant, Odin had a lot of damage. It also had a DPS check too. It wasn't like a hard DPS check, but it did have one. And the Tank Buster hit really fucking hard and there was no cast bar. He just did it. Odin back in the day, it wasn't challenging, but if you did it with random people, you pr would probably wipe. It was like, it fucked you up. I think Odin's a C. All right, so let's do the weapons. Ruby weapon. Okay, B. The prog. Okay, not bad. The mechs. I thought the mechs were kind of cool when he put his hands in the ground and all the, the things, you know, and people got mad about, about clockwise or counterclockwise or whatever, you know. Mm. The fun, I thought it was okay. Farm, eh, was okay. Wasn't bad, wasn't good. Music, I never really paid attention to the music, to be honest. Here's why I think that Ruby weapon was a B. Because when that cutscene hit, when Juicy nail popped out of that covered in that viscous material and was just like like that <sighs> yo <laughs> i'm thinking to myself can we wipe and see this cutscene again yeah okay that's why i think it's a b when i saw her covered in all that slime i mean dude i'm just like sheesh was that good was that appropriate <laughs> that wasn't appropriate Damn, chat's giving me mixed signals here. I think it's a B. Simp isn't on the list. Ooh. Ooh, that's right. Okay, all right, it's a C. Simp is not on the list. Simp is not a criteria. Okay, what about Ultima? So when it was current, it wasn't hard, but it wasn't easy either. It's just the fight itself was, it didn't really, he didn't do anything. There was a Garuda thing that knocked you back. There was like an Ifrit eruption that you had to dodge. There was a Titan thing where you had to get out of the middle. And then actually you didn't even have to get out of the middle. For it spawned, there was a safe spot in the middle and then you had to get out and, and then you had to get out of the middle. Etheric boom was like the only hard, the spaceship crashing down. Yeah, that was, it was okay. It wasn't like bad though. It just kind of just didn't do anything. Like I think it's barely a C. What about, what about Titania? Blech. The fucking music gives it a fucking what the fuck. The music sounds like if the Peepo Gigglers formed a choir. That's so, that's so dumb. Bad take. The prog was, the prog was okay. It wasn't bad. I don't think it's a C. I think the fight itself is actually at least a B. The ad phase was kinda, it was kinda meh. They had repeat mechanics that literally had the Shiva shit. The fists were okay. The brambles with the chains, you know, the grass shit. The vines with the brambles was kinda cool. Was it fun? It was okay, not bad. The music was awful. It was a banger and you know it. <laughs> It's a B. It's a B. Best. B, B for bang. It's not D. The music sucks. What is this thing again? That's the... Inno oh, this is Innocence! This is... Oh, that's an A. That's, that's an A. 
Easy A. I don't think it's an S, but it's an is. Oh, it's an A. I had a lot of fun with Innocence, okay? I like this fight. I like this fight a lot. I thought it was kind of cool. You had to aim the mechanic at the thing to blow it up. I thought that was cool. You know, I like dodgy fights. I actually liked Innocence better than Shinryu. I also liked Innocence better than Hades. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I think that this is, I think that this is the best A on here. That's mostly because of farm and because of fun. Its mechanics were okay. Not bad. The prog was good. Uh, it was easy, but it was very fun to me. Even though I had a lot of fun with this, it's not on this tier, right? It's not, it's not nowhere near this tier. But it didn't have any downtime. It was a fast-paced fight. It was easy to farm. There were a lot of upsides to this. I think this is an A. We'll just get this one out of the way. Diamond Weapon A. I felt like Diamond Weapon was an A. Now, I only did Diamond Weapon one time, but I was impressed. It was a very interesting fight. I did have fun when I did it farm i don't know i never fucking farmed it some of you think it's an s easily i don't think it's i, th I think it's i think it's an a i think it's a high a an s has to be like super iconic it just like basically when if you were to put diamond weapon on this tier you're trying to say that diamond weapon is as good as the warrior of light you're trying to say that Diamond Weapon is as good as Titan or Ravana or Thordan. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I do think it's as good as like these. I think it's better than Rama. I think it's better than Sophia. I think it's an A+. I just think it's missing that little tiny bit of extra something. And I can't explain what it is, really. I, I know that's biased, but... I feel like it's an A. I, 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 did, I, I did enjoy it. Like I said, I only did it once, so I don't have, you know... My opinion on this fight is not as strong as like other people's. Okay, so Emerald Weapon. I actually enjoyed Emerald better than Ruby. I didn't care for Ruby too much. I enjoyed Emerald better than Ruby, but I didn't like it enough. I thought the mechanics were kind of fun. You know, the, the lasers and shit. I thought the mechanic was fun when you saw people just get fucking destroyed. I like the gun stuff too. Basically, the mechanics in Emerald Weapon, I felt, were really punishing. And it was really funny to see people fuck up. So that's why I liked it better than Ruby Weapon. So that's why I think it's a B. But I don't like it enough to really... Like, my opinion on this fight doesn't really... This is just another, you know, shitty primal to me. Oh, well, not shitty, but you know what I mean. This is just another average primal. But if you guys are saying it's really bad to farm, then yeah. I feel like phase one Emerald was kind of bad, yeah. Oh, it was bad because people suck, but the fight was better than Ruby. Okay, okay. So that would go under the farm. So basically the farm category is just like a fucking zero on this thing. Fun was, phase two was good, phase one was bad. The mechs, phase two was good, phase one was kind of bad. The prog, meh. Some people, they only care about prog. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's good for you. But a majority of people like to farm these fights. More people like to farm fights than just prog them. So farm is very important. What is this fucking thing again? This is the thing you get for the, the relic armor. I remember this fight being fun. I remember this fight having mechanic. There was like a tr like a like a triple mechanic, right? There were like different different sets of triple mechanic. I thought this fight was was fun. Yeah, I'm thinking high B or low A. Because I feel like that just because Warrior of Light is, is, is like it, but more difficult, doesn't take away from the fact that because it was first, this like kind of set the groundwork a little bit. Farm was uh, really, the like you never needed to do this fight. I mean, yeah, you could do it for the supposedly BIS tank helmets and shit, but I tested both of that. That's just math nonsense, dude. I didn't actually deal any more fucking damage, dude. But you never had to do this fight. I don't feel like this is as good as these. So I think it's a B. Yeah, I think it's a B. Tsukiyomi. It is not an S. It's not an S. Get the fuck out of here. It's not an S. I think it's an A. Oh, wait a minute. No, this had that stupid RP bullshit. Nope, 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 nope. There's no way that this fight with this long... D oh, fuck. But... The oh, God. Uh, how good was the fight compared to the downtime? Hades was an amazing fight, but the downtime was shit. Tsukiyomi, that RP shit. Why the fuck did they put that in savage mode, man? What the f- or extreme. What were they thinking, dude? I don't understand. It makes the farm shit, 
I think because of this shit, it's an A minus. What are the mechanics? So there was the floor stuff, and then there was like the, there was the in out with the dynamo, and the animation, the light, the dark. I just don't think that the fight of Tsukiyomi was as good as Hades, even though the downtime is like, I don't know, kind of the same. I think it's a B, man. Now the boy, Nidhogg. It's at least an A, but it might be an S, dude. Okay, here, okay, here's why it's an S. Because it is the only time in existence that Living Dead was actually good. That it, uh, We're so uh, fucked. Because he could, he could target and Who's it on? Who's on? Just hold, uh, use your thing, what's it called? Living bone marrow. Oh, Watch this oh, Living yes. Dead timing, yes. dude. Yo, we got it, we got it! No! Oh, no! Yes. Can fuck her up. Yes. Yo, my bloody dead procced! Oh, it procced at the very last second! Oh, Yo, going in hard, boys! <laughs> yeah, dog! Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> that is the only instance where Living Dead was 22nd hollowed ground. So that's why it's an S. Not in the grave, dude! Now, do I think it was as good as Thornton? No. But it was memorable. The farm was good, it was fun, and the mechanics were cool. And what do you think about this list? I'm pretty confident with this list, dude.